Now I'd like to adjust the length of the blending in my title. And as this is a still title, I can treat it the same way as I would treat a still image. And what this means is that if I want to shorten or lengthen it, I can simply trim the clip. For example, if I shorten it here, then the clip doesn't last as long. I could of course double click in it and choose a different template from the layout editor. We've seen this in the previous lessons. I'll leave it with Save Exit. And now this new template is shown with the specified length. So for the minute, nothing new. However, this time I'll double click and I'll choose a template from the dynamic template category. So an animated title. And I'll simply choose any one. For example, this one with double click. Save Exit. And now we can look at it. And something a bit confusing seems to happen in that this title is blended in and out using the Edius Title Mixer track, but doesn't seem to be animated. And there's a reason for this, and we'll look at that now. I'll go back into the layout editor by double clicking. And here, directly beneath the preview, we see the option as still image. And so what this means is that the title is displayed as a still image, even though it is a dynamic or animated template. This happens because we've been working with still templates, so non-animated templates. And this title assumes that that is what we want. If we don't want this, I have to deselect this tick box. And having done so, the template is now animated. Once again, save exit. OK, and now we have a starting point for our animation. I don't need my blending in and out anymore, so I'll remove them by selecting this title mixer section just beneath the clip and using the delete key. And so the title is displayed how we want it. It disappears at this point, however. Why this happens is probably quite clear in that the animation template has a specific time scale. And so the animation should run for a specific length of time. And so I'll extend my title and I'll do this up until the length specified in the template. So up to here and not any further for the minute. And now we can watch it. Yes, and so we can see that the whole thing is blended out cleanly via the animation template. Now, of course, we come to the question of how can I adjust the length of my animated title? We've seen that if I simply shorten the clip, then the animation is cut off. Likewise, I can only extend it to the maximum length that is defined by the animation template. So for the minute, this isn't exactly optimal for us. If I really wish to extend the length of the title, then I can't use my mouse to do it for the minute. But of course, there's a solution within this title. So I'll go into it once again. And then we can see the set duration button. And here it's clear that I can specify the length of my animated title. And how we can do this, I'll show you now. I have to go back into the Edius timeline and I simply drag my timeline cursor to a new position. For example, to here. And now I can use the set duration function. And then the position of the timeline cursor is used to specify the length of my title. Once again, I have to save exit. And now I can extend the title up to the timeline cursor position. And so it will only start blending out at this point. If I'd like to shorten an animated title, it works in exactly the same manner. I place the timeline cursor at the point that I wish to shorten to, double click, Use set duration. 
And now the title is shortened to the position that I specified with the cursor. And once again, we can see that the animation runs in its entirety for the duration set by the clip.